Open your mouth. Spread your legs. Clear. Let's go. You already know what it is, your boy Pistol Pete. Welcome to Dog in the Yard. This is the first episode, you know what I'm saying? And it ain't the way it's supposed to be, because my co-host is not here in the flesh, you know what I'm saying? But we doing it, you know what I'm saying, for everybody's safety, you know what I'm saying? I want to introduce to you guys, man, official nigga, you know what I'm saying, from the Bronx, long-time friend, just came home from doing 26 years straight, you know what I'm saying, been up top, all over the place, you know what I'm saying? Let's introduce him to the show, man. You know what I'm saying? It's my co-host. I want everybody to get familiar with his name and his face, man. My boy, Boxing Dice, man. What's going on, man? What's going on, brother, man? It's a pleasure to be here, man. Under these um, circumstances, man. But, hey, we're going to make it work, man. You know what I'm saying? We're we going to do what we, we, what we normally do. Make it work. I want to just take the time out to thank my guys up there. Jake and Ben for doing an amazing job with this pen. This is that Dom CBD pen. These guys take their time doing this pen. It tastes great. They do them three different flavors, berry, mint, and mango. My favorite is berry, just to let you know, guys. You know, I know a lot of people out there dealing with pain, you know, dealing with anxiety, the way I deal with anxiety. And I'm telling you guys, it works for me. If you want to place your order today, you're more than welcome. You just hit up domecbd.co. Punch in the coat, dog in the yard, and you get your 15% off early. So for those people that's out there that's going through it right now and is stressed out in the house, that don't smoke marijuana, trust me, my brothers, this CBD pen does it all, man. Place your order today, man. It's your boy Pistol Pete, dog in the yard. You already know. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, you know, we just, you know, like I said, you know, this is our first episode. We're going to dedicate this to Rikers Island. You know what I'm saying? All my peoples, all my peoples infected by the by, by the coronavirus that right now is, is 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 affecting the whole island. You got like 21 cases of, of inmates, you know, being infected, positive with it. You got another 17 positive cases of staff that's worked there that are also positive with the virus. So Rikers Island right now is on lockdown. You could just imagine the shit is on super lockdown with a sandwich every two, every Three hours you get a sandwich or, you know, I get I guess you get three sandwiches a day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for, that's, it, for, that's all you get. You get breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You know what I'm saying? So by the end of the week, you know, you lose a couple pounds and all that because they're not taking you out to sell. You're on official lockdown. And I know the feeling. I know the yeah, feeling. I doubt, I doubt they're taking them out for commissary or anything like that, man. Nah, they're not doing no commissary, no visit. They're not doing a walk. Yeah. They're not right. doing a, 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 a breath of fresh air. You don't get none of that. If you're in the box or not in the box, you're still going to be treated like you're in the box. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah. you're not going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? You're going to yeah, be on lockdown all day until they figure this whole this, this whole shit out. So that means ain't no telling when you're coming out yourself, to be honest with That's you. If you're in jail right now, ain't no telling when the fuck you're going to be back in population, back out to go commissary or to do anything. Or your family or when you're going to get a visit, none of that. Because everything is on quarantine. That's why, you know, it was imperative for me, you know what I'm saying, to come out with this episode right now rather than wait another two months for the first episode to come out. You know, the most of the, the, important, the important of this whole, you know, uh, uh, dog in the yard it's, it's for the inmates It's for the prisoners For the ex-convicts For those that Don't have a voice You know what I'm saying So This is the perfect time To come out with the first episode You know what I'm saying That's you f- right and, and also And also Pete Just just lad You know We we, go, we gotta give a shout out To everybody that, That's in the front line Man You know like the, the staff workers That's in there You know The 17 that are infected And the ones that Are still going to work Knowing that, you know, there's a possibility that he might be infected, and especially to the mayor, Mayor Bill de Blasio, man, you know what I'm saying? For making the move, that that brave move that, that he's about to do, man, which is release, you know, at least some of the old people, some of the sick people, you know what I'm saying? Some of the people with the minor infraction. Anyway, man, you know, with all that being said, man, you know, I just, I just, you know, I, I, I give my heart out to all my peoples in jail, you know what I'm saying? All my, you know what I'm saying? All our brothers, all our, you know what I'm saying? All, all the, all the brothers and all the sisters, you know, there's a bunch of sisters in there, yeah, not only you know, Island, not man. only Ragazala, you know, there's a bunch of sisters, you know, you know, 
jail period. People away from their family and facing this enemy that we facing because this is I never seen no shit like this. So, you know, for me to tell you this, it's like it's a spooky shit. I ain't I ain't been around nobody. I'm not gonna lie to you. I isolated myself and I got my kids and, and I reached out to my other kids and I tell them, my man, all you could do is just stay away from everybody. And I ain't got no problem doing that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I've been away. So I ain't got no problem staying away and, and keeping myself away and distance from people and all that. Cause I'm used to, I could, I could do, I could do that. We could adapt, CC. We could adapt. We could adapt. Exactly. It'll, it'll make a, a, a more healthy environment for yourself and for your loved ones. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Give you time to, to reflect, man, and sit back and look at what's going on in your house. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. Run away from their house so much. Now, Everybody's time. always on the move. I had an interview with a very interested individual from uh, New Jersey. Let's talk about that, man. You know what I'm saying? He was an official nigga from Jersey. You know what I'm saying? It was an honor having him. You know what I'm saying? Sue Surf. He's a, he, he's a crip. You know what I'm saying? And he fell in jail. You know what I'm saying? Out here, right? And, yeah, um, yeah, in Newark. And, and Newark. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He was in, jer- in, in, in Newark. You know what I'm saying? He, and he, he, he was in jail. He, was the real. he kept, he kept, kept it 100. Door. You know what I'm saying? He's a crip from California. Came out, you know what I'm saying? You already know how that shit is, man. Coming from a whole different, coming from Cali already is, is a tension on you. So imagine Cali plus being a, a crip while, the, yeah. you know, half of the people on, 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 in Newark and in, in the prison system and, 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 and as far as the East is bloods, a lot of bloods. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he gave us that perspective of how he survived that his old deal. On, 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 you know, going through the system and being a crip and, you know, and coming from California and, and, and all that, you know, and it was, it's, 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 uh, his, uh, his interview is very interesting. It was real. Yeah. It, it was real. His rap career, his rap career. His rap career, he's a beast. Yeah. Niggas can't fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? I'm I mean, rapper, yeah. hands down. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I'm just, you know, what I, what I, what I, let me tell you something, Dice, what I, what I, what I got out of him, you know, it was just the, the different look, you know what I'm saying? As far as a different perspective, you know, how he just managed to, you know, he's down with a gang. I never experienced that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Now, it was informative because, like like you said, you know, me me and you is, is neutrals. We ain't affiliated with anybody, you know. So, you know, he, he and what I like from him was that, he, he, you know, he kept it real. He didn't sit there and was like, nah, I went in there and, and, I, and I killed 30 dudes with, with a toothbrush. And, and nobody nah, mm-hmm. he, nah, he kept it real He said man It was crazy man I was the only crib And when you go in there You know Police be like Yo listen man You know Who you rocking with him? And he told them crib And man, he said he was, he was like Wow well, I'm like Wow this is crazy man yeah. The majority of people Hear bloods man And, and the crib's gotta like Kind of like Be on the side Like kind of check in Yeah No it's just it, yeah, They separate you You know what I'm saying yeah. Cause I, I remember I went through something like that When I, when I went from the feds I was going back to court to Rikers Island and they wanted to keep me so I went to the Beacon and when I went back to the Beacon they was like okay where where he goes you know they got all the Spanish all the Spanish uh, guys like on one side of the building the Lank King Yantas and all these other gangs they got and then they got on one side they got all the Bloods and all the brothers on one side and all that so when I when I went down they put me on the Bloods they put me on the uh, with, all the, with all the Bloods and all that shit <laughs> and shit and, you know what I mean because they had me Affiliated That's with crazy. the blood, so I, I went automatically. Went, I just went there, and yeah. shit was crazy That's though. Crazy, no, because we gonna live anywhere, man. Let me tell you. Of something. course, with the bloods, with the cribs, with the Latin. So funny that I wanted. I started off there, and I ended up at the other side. You know, at the at the end of the story. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so it doesn't matter where they put us, man. You know, we 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 gonna be all right. But the whole thing is this: how you mentioned the beacon, like when we was in Rikers Island back in the days, there was only five buildings. Mm-hmm. Now they have Beacon and a whole bunch of other. Nah, they got they got B O B C C. They got the Beacon. Yeah. They got they got all these new buildings. I was like, what the fuck? I, I went up and I was like, damn, nah. this building is brand new. Yeah, let me let me tell you something. When, um, I went down in two thousand five on a reversal for four forty for my case. Right, that was the first time that I, I know uh, I had hopes of going home. And when I got down there, everybody telling me, yo, this Blood Island. I was I was like at that. You know, I was up north for a while already. I already had mad years up north. So I'm like, Blood Island, what that means? And they were like, now nah, that the bloods control everything here. So I didn't know nothing about that. I was like, wow, man, like, this is crazy. They put me in a house where it was all bloods or whatever. But, you know, real recognized real, man. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Real recognized real. Like I said, man, end of the day, man, 
that's not where we want you guys to be at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for not, for all for yeah. all my all my bro, young brothers out there listening to you know me to to my show, you know or you know watching it. You know what I'm saying? Just know, we talk about it, but that's not where I want you to go at. I don't wish, I don't wish jail on my worst enemy. You know what I'm saying? We're not glorifying. So we're not glorifying no fucking jail. You know what I'm saying? We just giving it to you the way it is, the way it is, raw. You know what I'm saying? Not the whole. The whole front and shit, the you know, the movie, this, that, now the episode, that. This is the real shit. You know what I'm saying? And with that all being said, you know what I'm saying? I think it's time, you know what I'm saying? Hit him with that official, you know what I'm saying? Sue Thank Surf you, interview, you know what I'm saying? He was a real motherfucker from Jersey. You know what I'm saying? He rep his set, you know what I'm saying? And he's not ashamed. And he's not and he's not ashamed. That's right, that's right. That, that, like like you said, that interview was very, very, you know, like Educational, man. You know what I'm saying? So let's just get right to the interview, man. You already know, man. Sue Surf, you already know what it is, man. Jersey, stand up, man, for a real one. Dog in the yard, right. your boy Pistol. Welcome to the dog in the yard, man, you know? <coughs> you can relate to all that, I bet. You know what I'm saying? You did some time in jail and all that, so. Yeah, man. But let me ask you a question. So where you where you get your name from? Surf or Tsunami. Surf, surf, yeah. Su tsunami come from, like, the streets, like, fucking shit up. But uh, Surf come from skating. Oh, okay. Four wheel skating. I like so, to skate. Really? Yeah, surf, surf came from like when I was like 17, 16. His yeah, because I was wondering. I said, where you get his name from? Yeah, surf just, I just kept it like, you know what I mean? Sue came from like battle rap. So I just put it together. It's like Sue Surf kind of so went. Surf, yeah. Or, so, you know. It's good money, good money. <laughs> I was like, yo, the whole time I was I was saying to the guys, I was like, where you get his name from? I call him Surf. Or, surf I be yeah. telling bitches my mother Hawaiian. <laughs> so, like, your name's not Surf like it is. My mother Hawaiian. Oh, really? Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it came from Skate. Okay. All right, so. Uh, I wanted to ask you uh, how much time you did and all that, you know, like where you been. And, 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, like, like you just, know, how, like what was your first experience and when you went to jail and all that. Like my first time, as soon as I turned eighteen, I go to charge, man. Like I never been to the youth house, never got in trouble. Nothing. I've been in the streets since I was thirteen. I got in trouble 13, 14, 15, 16. As soon as I turned eighteen, gun charges. I went straight to the big boy house. I, mean, I went to the county, yeah, Essex County. That's the county jail, the Green Monster. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. So, um, so how much did you? How much time? I did a did year. I did a. Uh, this was back in time when when uh, New Jersey had bail. So I did a year. Then I bailed out. And I was home for a year. Then I went down to uh, Annadale, Annadale uh, Correctional Facility, right? Which, which is state prison for a year. You know what I mean? So you know that was the two. That was my two bids, and then everything else was like scared jail bids, like fighting cases. I do a year in the county for fight it, come home, or something. You know what I mean, some shit like that, come home. You feel me? But yeah, yeah, total pot, man, like four or five total. Like, and how was that? I mean, as far as your experience, you know, going through the system, like period from the now, beginning, honestly, could you like, could you like? Is it different? You know what I mean? I, which I be trying to tell like the little bros and like and, and the little homies and shit like that. Like that's a different experience. Like don't let nobody tell you different. Jail is a man's world. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like. It's nothing safe. It's nothing. Nobody could protect you. Nobody could save you. Like, you know what I mean? And I, like I said, I done been in different county jails. I done been locked up in Detroit. I done been locked up in, you know what I mean? Some of the cold places. And it's a man's world. Like, and it, like, it ain't about being tough. It ain't about, like, it's men there. It's not for kids. You know Absolutely. what I mean? So, you know, being 18 years old and that door and that door closing, it don't open. Don't mm -hmm. open again until the morning. 845. You True. know what I mean? Like, shit like that. It's, it's a humbling, different experience. Like, I just, I forgot what interview I had. I just was telling somebody that I think that, like, Everybody should have that experience. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's the most humbling experience that you could possibly possibly go through in, like, every facet of the situation. I'm talking about, like, it's so many different boxes you could check off from that jail. You know what I mean? Like, from loyalty to, 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 to friendship to, you know what I mean? Like, out of sight, out of mind. Like, it's so many things you could touch. You know what I mean? Because you got them homies that's loyal mm -hmm. that is like, yeah, if I need you to go, if it's time to go to the club and I need some niggas with me. We there. If I need some niggas to split the bottles with me, there we, we there. These uh -huh. niggas go half on some weed. We there. Uh huh. But when you get locked up, it's like you know what I mean. Ain't nobody thinking like, oh damn, is his daughter straight? You know what I mean, oh damn, look, let me put some money on this book. So that True. out of sight, out of sight, out of mind loyalty mm -hmm. is a different type of loyalty. Like it's different type of loyalty. People don't like. I mean, it all falls under the same shit. Uh -huh. But you got them niggas that like you might have a gangster type of loyalty to whereas you call one of your niggas. Like, yo, man, we about to go slide on these niggas. And that nigga's down to go. Cause that's yeah. just the type of nigga he is. He down to... But if you behind a wall, that nigga might not never think about you. Yeah. Ever. He might never reach out to the family. Might that. never ride a kite. Might wait, never... You wait feel till me? you get home and shit. Is, uh... Ex exactly. You know what I mean? Like, you different. That out of sight, out of mind loyalty is that. That's that different, real... It's you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, that yeah. different. 
So you think that by going to jail, it, 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 you know, it, it's it just tighten you up as far as like the kids. Nah, you know, like because you know what I mean. You see these fools. You know what I mean. Like shit, in a year bit, I see niggas go in, come back, go in, come back. So you know what I mean. All these niggas don't really always get the correctional part from it. You feel me? But it's an experience. You know what right. I mean? It's an experience that I just think everybody should have, whether you learn from it or not, which I do think just the smallest shit. You know what I mean? You appreciate a shower. Like you appreciate being able to step in your shower with your shoe with no shoes on. Just my uh, Instead my of your foot. sandals. Instead of your sandals. True. You know what I mean, I have this like just small shit. You know, I want to pick up and call my daughter. I don't gotta wait till I get out my cell, get a phone, get a, you know what I mean, shit like that. I don't gotta write a kite. To holla at somebody, you know what I mean? The, the smallest stuff, you know what I mean? Like, you start appreciating the, the smallest things. Is there anything that you can remember that, that you've seen in there that that, that has stuck with you and, like, make you realize, like, damn, you know, like, whether well, either, either getting, you I know, mean, anything, anything yeah, every, you've seen somebody like, getting banged out, it's, it's, somebody get beat up by the police, like, anything that you can remember. I know like, somebody get banged out, pause. I don't, I don't know. I don't, you know what I mean? Meaning, nah, you know, nah, 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 smashed out, you know, nah, nah, you know, nah, you know nah, I ain't gonna lie, on, on a jail talk, you nah, know, like, <coughs> I'm fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> and a, you know, like, the whole trip, bro, the whole trip is like, the whole trip is like, really mind-blowing when you, you know what I mean, when you really think about it, it's almost like, you know what I mean? Like, some of this shit is just, you know, from people, like, you ever see somebody kicking dope? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's a disgusting, and not even in a nasty way, but I'm talking about how it makes me feel. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, crazy. watching somebody go through that is yeah. is a mind-changing type of thing. Like, mm -hmm. you, like that's the type of stuff that make you see what, nobody's like, really lived up close. Yeah. You know, you hear about drugs, you mm -hmm. hear about dope, you hear about, oh yeah, you shouldn't do dope. You, you Have you ever shared, have, has, has a dope head ever been your bunkie? You know what mm. I mean? Like to where you sitting there like, damn, this is what it'll do to you. Like you can't eat. Like you you smell something wrong, you throwing up. You know what I mean? Like yeah. now you it's reversed. Now you need it to survive. You know what I yeah, mean? Shit like crazy. It's, man, you know what I mean? Or, or, or like I said, I, my trip's been so long. Like I done shared rooms with a nigga that's never going home. It's a different type of conversation. Of course. You know what I mean? Like that's a different, scary type of conversation. Like, you know when it's shit. Man, I done seen some I done seen some niggas that have never walked in the light of day, smile, and it's, you know what I mean, and it's scary, you know yeah. what I mean, it's scary, like, what mindset do you gotta be in to really even humble yourself enough to say, this is my future, this is my life, this is what I'm going for, like, this is what's about to happen, and I'm okay with that, what type of, what type of mental person do you have to be to sign your life away, at that too, you know what I mean, for you real. Got, that's just two different mindsets right there, you got mm -hmm. some people that's like, man, pause, they're gonna have to stick it to me, like, they're, like, they're gonna have to do their job, I, nigga, I'm gonna lose, and I'm gonna go the long way, you know what yeah. I mean? Or and you got some people that sit there and sign their name, sign they name to, that, to forty to the years, and shit. to fifty years, to yeah. sixty years, to to to, that, to a letter. You know what I mean? So it's just it's so much stuff you learn. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And there, like you learn who the enemy is. Like it's so much stuff you like. Man, the lessons is everything is a lesson in there. Everything like I done seen niggas lose their mama while they was in there. Yeah, heart wrenching. And how was it for you? Like I mean, you a crip, right? Yes, sir. So how was it for you? Like, you been in the crib how long? Like my whole life, since I was thirteen. You feel me? Since I was thirteen. 13. Yeah, so how was it going in there? I mean, and, and being it's, part it's, of like you know, yo, it's, it's, like, you know, especially the when, a bunch of gangs now. You know, so how was that? Especially when you know, what I mean, I, I went to the county like 2017, 2018. So I was turning eighteen. You know, what I mean, our county was super segregated hey, was at the head. time. Yeah, you know, what I mean, like you couldn't. It wasn't no cross breeding in tears. Like it wasn't no like this is a blood tear. Those the Crips, those the like, you couldn't even, you it know. It wasn't like that. Yeah, nigga, you need they, two, three cops is walking you to the dentist, nigga, walking you to, you know what I mean? Like, it was it was real at, like, especially when I went to the county, like, our, our, our city our, is so populated with bloods that if you was Crip. You talking about Newark? Yes. Okay. If you was Crip, you in protective custody automatically. Like, it's not, no, you don't, it's, it's automatic. Like, you know really? what I mean? Like, you crip? All right, send them to that. It's two floors. That's it. You either go into this floor or that floor. The rest of the building is bloods. What so, you know what I mean? Like, you got to hold. You got to. You got to really hold it down. If you got to tough you... stay off the off the gate. You know what I mean? From yeah. the time you from the time you in handcuffs, you automatically think about who about to be in the tank before you even enter quarantine. You know okay. what I mean? You could go into the tank with a, with a tank full of ops. You know what I mean? Off gate before you even got on, changed your clothes into a jumper. You know what I mean? And then, you know. Every step is like cops handing you to another cop, to handing you to another cop, to handing you, you know what I mean? So you get locked up, them cops hand you to the precinct cops. Precinct cops take you to the county. County cops, you know what I mean? The downstairs cops take you to the, you know what I mean, to the quarantine cops. The quarantine cops take you to the, you got to keep repeating, yo, I'm Crip. <laughs> Every you gotta time. Keep, you got you to gotta keep telling the them. The minute the niggas handcuff me, I'm Crip. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Make sure y'all don't put me in the wrong place. I'm yeah. crip. Yeah, you want to be able to be safe. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? The next, you feel me? They hand you off. They take you to the they take you to the county building. You tell, hey, I don't know if they told you I'm crip. You know what I mean? It ain't like it ain't denying no nothing. I'm gonna go where I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna let everybody know all oh, as soon as hey, I'm crip. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I, I, my safety is first. Like, so if I go into somewhere where it's like my safety might not be comfortable or I feel like I'm not off rip, I'm going. Yeah. So before we step in, before y'all drop me off in this room and I punch the first person in the face next to me, because that's the that's the way you get out. Like that's the yeah, that's the only way to no get out. It's no checking in where I'm from. Right. <laughs> you, yeah. We don't do no check ins. You know okay. what I mean? Or like period, never been checked in. I'm running with nobody that's getting checked in. You know what I mean? Like you have to make a you have to make a grand exit. You have to make a grand exit. Like we don't, we not, we not checking in. You, you gotta I mean? go so, out with a bang. Gotta yeah. go out with a bang. You feel me? Bang. If I gotta ask, like anything else is tucking your tail. True. You know what I mean? So um, so yeah, you just try to keep it up because then it avoids it. Like it puts you like nobody's saying like who the fuck want to go on a tear. With so did 30? it work for you when you got there? Did it put you where you yeah, need to be at? Yeah, and stuff? yeah, of course. You know what I mean? Like who really want to walk on a tear with thirty bloods? Like that's not being gangster. That's stupidity. Yeah, of course. You feel me? That's not tough. You know what I mean? That's stupidity. So off gate. You know what I mean? I'm like officer. Send me to where my homies at. You know what I yeah. mean? And then even when you get there, I'm rolling 60s. Even when you get to where the homies at, the homies ain't the homies. So you still in, you know what I mean? It's a war inside. What, what, what you mean by that? There's a, the a, a bunch of different sets. You know what I mean? Like you got a bunch of different, different, like it's no different than Bloods. You know what I mean? Like you got different sets with yeah. the inside that's just crib. I, I know the, 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 the set that you, that you. I'm rolling 60s. Rolling the 60s, the yeah. Rolling. So, so. That's like yeah. big you and everything, right? We ain't crew. got no friends. Yeah. I tell you that much. Oh, so this just of, that's the way. It, I mean, that's because I don't real, really know. I'm just yeah, saying that's, that's real life. So, so you could be a part. You could be a crip, but down with a different set, and they they're not really. Man, I got everything X'd out on me, man. All th threes and G's and C's. Yeah, I'm rolling sixties. They put that's it. You that's know what I mean? I don't, so, I don't, so it's I don't, another. So it's another crip, and they from. Cause I didn't we don't understand. gotta be we don't gotta be friends, no sir. You ain't gotta be homies. Like nah, that, you know what I mean. And then it's like you know if you a lot of these niggas that's over here, a lot of this gang banging and shit like that, <clears throat> is homegrown. I Meaning these niggas never yeah, go like west coast to the church. Like, you know what I mean? Shit like that. Exactly. They don't have to. It, it's no protocol. There's no answer. No nobody's no nothing. So they doing their own thing. You know what I mean? So it's a lot no of structure, nothing like that. They just doing. You know what I mean? So out here it's just you know out. You know, it seems like it's on the east coast. It's just cripping blood. Yeah. Out west, it's not like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like nigga. A blood be so distant from from the hood. Yeah, you know what I mean. That is like realistically, bloods ain't our enemies. The eighty thirds is right there. The snooze is right there. Uh, you know what I mean. Like you know, it's it's, it's more so it's more so it's crips more things right. around. Yeah, that, yeah, that's 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 like us than it is. That's yeah. Realistically, you know what I mean. Like a nigga be like, how could I beef with a like? And I'm talking about when they translate over to the East Coast. Right. How could I beat with? How could I beef with a Piru if I'm from the '60s when the Pyrus is in Compton? You know okay. what I mean? If we talk about a kind of like, like, do you know the distance? And you know, niggas over here don't really. Do you know the distance from, 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 the down block from, <laughs> 60th and you know what I mean to to Compton? Yeah, yeah. To the point where I'm not saying that you could beef with anybody. We right. can bump into the Foxes, we can bump into anywhere. But that distance is not regular beef. It's not the nigga on the corner beef or the niggas trying to trap around the block. It doesn't really bother. You get, get what I'm it. saying? Like, I get like it. you know what I mean? But when you come out here, it just seems like it's, it's automatically just, like, red, blue, red, yeah, blue. It's, it's like, just, like that. Like nigga, I can't. It's just crazy. You know what I mean? And then niggas don't really know, you know what I mean? Niggas don't understand. They just niggas. don't know the history. They just want to be down and, and that's shit all. Like and that. that's all, you know what I mean? A nigga will walk up to you, tell him what you is, and he'll shake, put, stick his hand out and, and say he, the number one enemy to your, to your set, and not even know, you know what I mean? Like, because it's so, it get, you know, apples turn to oranges. It, right. it just gets so misconstrued by the time it get over here that, you know, you just, you try to turn your head to it, man. If you was out here trying to fix everybody and, you know what I mean? <laughs> You know, so you, <clears throat> you just humbly like this. Not a like to some people, it's a thing. Mm -hmm. Some people, it's life. It's a lifestyle. You know what I mean? Like, don't run around with no flags on and all that extra stuff. What's understood don't got to be explained. You know what I mean? Yeah, you are like, who you are. You, you for are, real. You know what I mean? And it's a it's a texture. You, you come across those of your texture. Don't do the most. You know what I mean? Type shit. We don't we don't go for the most. You know what I mean? But um, yeah. Back to like what you said specifically. Like, nah, man. It'd be the closest ones. Like the you know what I mean? Like, it's out, crazy. Out, yeah. I didn't know that though. Hell yeah! And I'm like, and I'm like no... you know, jail my whole life, but I never really, really pay that no mind. Yeah, like, nah, you know, I, number one, like I said, you know, once you get over to the East Coast, it start changing up. You know what I mean? Like, especially even the numbers. A lot of people don't even yeah, it's different. The numbers, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Oh, 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 back out west, you know what I mean? It's, it's predominantly crip. Over here, I mean, if anybody know any better, it's predominantly blood. Yeah, so it, it just is. make more logical sense to everybody that's cripping. 
to just be crip, 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 love, crip, love, because it's we outnumbered. Yeah, you might as well. Yeah, you might as well just. Uh, yeah, we might as well just be together. Be together because you know we're all I mean? Regardless of what you is, regardless of what I am, no, I'm a, it's like you know that's not how we give it up. No, our enemy is an enemy. You know what I mean, like I'm just it's just me and mine's. You know what I mean, we don't like it's no. You know I mean? That's the real shit though right there. That's yeah, the way like, it's, I don't you know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna be you can't be mad at a dog for biting shoes. You know what I mean? Like this isn't you know, we're not gonna take this to a you know, a, like a gang class, but it's yeah, like of course. realistically when you when you step back and you know the history of the H A H A Crips or the wrist the history of the Hoovers, you know what I mean, you sit back and you know what you are, it's like friends. <laughs> Yeah, like we ain't really friends at all. Yeah, not like, at all. Not yeah, at all. It's, you know what I mean? Crazy. Like you know, and, and and that's the reality of it. You know, and but like I said, it translate over here different. But nah, not not what I was like. You know, you I wouldn't sleep comfortably on a tear. That's just because it's all crips in here. You know what I mean? Like unless y'all, unless y'all identify by either neighborhood. So you never or, got into an altercation with another, another crip in prison or nothing like that. I, got I shot mean, five times by a crip. Oh, that's just yeah. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I got shot five times by a crip. You know what I mean? In your neighborhood. My best friend right there got shot by a crip. I mean, we don't got no beef with bloods. It's not like how, like should just be another crip from another yeah, set. Yeah, like how do like when, I mean when you think about it, like you know, like I said, I, I get you know you getting the tapping and the homework and shit like that, nigga. Even if you want to go back to the history, this shit proceed. This shit go way longer than me. It go way. But I'm the type of young nigga that I'm going to know what it is, what it's about, like what it like who belongs to. Like the I'm real gonna break, shit. You gonna yeah, of course. Gonna, you want to know what you really? Mean, you said the right name. Yeah. Ask him. I flew my young ass over there myself. Yeah, of and course. And figure it out myself. You understand what I'm saying? Like, because you want to know what the fuck going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. But Shout out Big U. That's my man. That's my boy. The biggest. My brother. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's like, um, you figure the Brams is right around the corner. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. at some point, if you go back, back, everybody was, it was, it's all love. That's 5'9 right there. That's we what I'm 60, saying. You know what used what to be, because I've been in LA, and it's all like, it's, it's, it's so, it's so you know different. I mean? It's like love, and you know people's I mean? not fake over here. Everybody just like, you know, a, nigga all the time. Don't even, a nigga don't even know what he is You know what I mean Or you get some niggas that You know sitting up in a jail cell With 30 years Say yo we gonna make this up And then well, Lo and behold If they got enough power In the jail system They could just come up with something Yo We third tier E-wing bloods And that's just a thing now you know what I mean? No, seriously. You know what I mean? That's just a thing. And they just turn like that's how that's like, crazy. That's how though, it be. Man. Like a lot of these New York sets. Yeah. That's they how be, they that's how they rocking. They just all right, look, we're gonna take the number from our building and throw a crip behind it. You know what I mean? Like we such and such like so you know, I mean to each his own. You yeah, of me? course. Like, I, I I you know, but um yeah, it's just a, it's a little different, you know. Like you don't I like even though I'm I'm born on the East Coast, like I don't really identify with, with a lot of like you know what I mean, the gang. A, a lot of, of shit from yeah, over here on the East. Yeah, I just like you know what I mean? Yeah, that's embarrassing. Because it's fake. That's really? embarrassing. I mean, to, it's not really. How do you take what somebody else made? You take what somebody else made. You bring it to wherever you and just adjust it and just. None of us would accept that if it was our shit. And it doesn't even have to be gang coaches. It's just let's just say we got a we, we, we're family. We the Johnsons. Right. And 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 we own a block. And this is the way. This represents our name. This represents what we stand for. Mm -hmm. y your old heads, the old heads before them, the mm -hmm. old heads. And this is how this block is ran. Right. You know what I mean? From stores to business to, you don't take this and why not start your own shit? Why right. not do your own thing? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why not just do some shit that you, you know what I mean? So you guys decide to go and take these, whatever you, you know what I mean? And, and to bring it over here and just put your own. Your own. Touches to it and your yeah, own names. Yeah, like and that's up. That's absurd. You yeah, know it's what I mean? crazy it's, to me too. Yeah, yeah I, I don't. You know what I, mean? I never I understood don't. that. That's why I'm trying to figure it out. I know. I know that you, you the real deal. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I never sat down and be like, hey, let me uh find out what's up with this guy and yeah. how the crip situation. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I be trying to figure it out myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even when I was in in the jail, I used yeah. to be like, I thought just being a crip. You just it's all just, put together, just, oh, hell, you know no, what I'm saying? And then hell, that was no. just it. I didn't, I never, I, I didn't really know all that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Niggas, I, niggas I learned know. a little bit because you being out there with Big, you running around with him a little bit yeah. and all that. So he kind of like niggas you know, worst enemies be niggas yeah. worst enemies be having on the same color, bro. It be the I mean? same colors. It be the same. Color. It be the same thing like that with every other crew, yeah. e even Bloods. You know, Bloods cutting Bloods and yeah. shit like that. Like it's just just on a regular, like you know, Latin Kings cutting their own self and. Yeah. You know, I mean, shit because like that. even when you break it down into like, even when you break it down into like, the logic behind it though, why would everybody be? You know what I mean? Like realistically, this is like this this gangbang shit came from a neighborhood thing, not as yeah. far as the set, but as far as neighborhoods. Period. This faction, 
It's nothing but a group of people from, why are you that? Because I was born here. This is what I know. This is what I like. The block name is that. That's why I'm this. You know what I mean? So it's not like, why would I have friends from the other side of town when, no, I was born and raised with this. With this With what I know. You know what I mean? So it's not like, no, that doesn't click us all together. You know what I mean? It's Mm -hmm. just an umbrella. Yes. But I'm still from this block. You're from that. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to, we don't Voltron together when we see each other because, you know what I mean? Nah, that's not how that go. So so now uh so you got shot five times, six, Word. and uh, um and he was a crip, yeah. so he's from Newark, like out there, like from uh-huh. this side of the east. You know, yeah, it's home. Yeah, I'm home. Yeah, I got shot at home. I got shot in Newark. That shit was feel like I mean like shit. You at home, but you get you would expect to get shot like somewhere else or shit. And, nah, that's know, the crazy part. Nah, I mean like I probably dreaming about that shit all my life. It happened exactly how I figured it would. Oh, okay. Yeah, if yeah. If I'm yeah. being honest, you know what I mean. If if a nigga being solid about it, that shit happened exactly how I thought it would. You feel me? Like any nigga that's into the streets, into the politics and shit like that, getting shot is something that you think about a lot. Like you know what I mean. Everybody that's really in the trenches or ever been in the trenches have thought about that. You know what I mean? And it's like the closer you is to that type of, because you know it's different type of lifestyles in the streets. Mm-hmm. And some niggas that hustle that's not in the guns. Yeah. Some niggas that play the guns that don't hustle. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like the more closer you are to that type of Lifestyle mm-hmm. like the street, you know what I mean? Live by the gun, die by the gun. Yeah, you know what I mean? Type shit. You know a nigga, man, a nigga be having nightmares about that shit. You know, and then when it happened, you laid up in that hospital and shit, and it just feel like. So, so what would you like? What would you, what kind of message would you would you give like that you would give to a young guy that want to either be down or get down with a gang or, or <coughs> anything like that? Would you you know like now these kids is lost. Yeah. So um, you know it just be like, oh, I'm here. Like, I'm down without even you know what I mean without even knowing the repercussions like I, which, 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 what kind of like from, cause you you're crazy, a thoroughbred like you, you've been part, in this right? 13 you was 13 I was 13 I yeah I was so 13. it's like you're not no, just the a crazy part shit. is like I can't even bad talk like the middle of it like if I like just hit me out like you got the beginning the middle and the end like we just talking about as far as gang banging right? right I can't even bad talk the middle of it because that's what got me where I am now. Like everything from the going to jail, getting shot, this all built my character. I can't say that I'm doing bad today, if we being honest. Okay. You know what I mean? A lot of these lessons that I first time I ever seen somebody get killed, I was 13. You know what I mean? Okay. Type shit like broad day in my face, like watching it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And these things that if you remove yourself from it, like you just won't know how sick, like, you know what I mean? And it's fucked up. Yeah, yeah. But it's the yeah. reality. You know what I mean? The way you got to learn. It's the way I had to learn. I'm not saying you can't learn other ways, but right. that's the way I had to learn. It's the way it went about. You know what I mean? So I'm not really mad at the middle part of it. Okay. You know what I mean? Because again, like I'm here. Yeah. It, but man, who you are? Exactly. Yeah. When you're talking to somebody that's at the beginning of it, mm-hmm. the end don't justify the means. Okay. That's the that's the number one. Like that's automatically. If I could say anything to anybody, the end don't justify the means. Meaning that, like, it's like playing dice. You know what uh-huh. I mean? Like if I had the four, five, six for the last. I'm I'm twenty I'm twenty nine. You feel me? So that's about that's uh, what thirteen ten. That's what uh, sixteen years or some yeah. shit like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If I got a four five six every single day for sixteen years, everybody doesn't make it through like that. Mm-hmm. Plus me having a talent and things like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know shit like that. So it's like things that kind of navigated me through this. You know what I mean? What what whatever I'm connected with or who I'm connected with, shit like that. That navigated me through this from them years. It doesn't work like that for everybody. You know what I mean? So that average, we talking numbers, we talking, mm-hmm. uh, we talking statistics. That average person, the end doesn't just justify the means. You know what I mean? Even if you just want to keep it in three, dead, jail, all right. We're not even talking about famous rapper. Dead, jail, all right. Those are the three options you got at the end. It's a two out of that's a sixty six point six six chance mm-hmm. that you won't be shit. Yeah. The end don't justify the means. You know what I mean? So it's like you know it makes sense. Right. Like you could run around with niggas and not be in a gang. You know what I mean? Like, you can run around with niggas and not, you know what I mean? Like, you can have the same codes and the same morals and the same... And not be down. And not be down. Like, you could not you could not be a snitch and not be a gang member. You could be loyal to people and not be a... You know what I mean? It, it doesn't have to be that way. You know what I mean? Type shit, you know? I hear you. Some, I feel you know, some, niggas, some niggas get forced into it. Some are born into it. You know what I mean? Like, and like I said, it's different for everybody. You got some niggas that's like, man, they whoop my ass every time I come out this school anyway. Hmm. You know what I mean? Not like I'm going like a nigga. They come through here shooting. I'm going to get shot anyway. Yeah, yeah. So I'm that. You know what I mean? That's but what they, you are. Yeah. That's what you are. Period. If they treating you like that, you that. You know what I mean? But then you got them niggas that want to come from all the way up the hill and come down. At, you yeah. Know what I mean? It's like that type of shit. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like it don't gotta. 
Don't got to be like that. The end don't justify the means. It don't justify, like, it don't add up. The bullets yeah. the bullets don't add up. Don't the, add the, up. The, 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 the jail time don't I add up, it. you know what I mean? A nigga escaped the rape, you know what I mean? Like, I'd a, a nigga that slid around attempted murder. A nigga that slid around a few possessions of a weapons, you know what I mean? I a nigga that slid, like, I said, I mean, I'm looking inside my stomach, like, yeah. open. Yeah, yeah. Like, I slid around that, you know what I mean? It's Absolutely. like, how much, like, how much do you really, like, I mean, the homies call me the coded child. I'm a little lucky. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, how much do you really step around? You know, like, I done, I done ran with some homies that, like, I mean, there's three of us. We out doing whatever we doing. The niggas got 50 years. Yeah. Both, I'm the only one to go, like, the only one to. The only one that got away, like, really. <laughs> like, not a joke. Like, yeah. My best friend. Like, not a joke. Like. Yeah. Only one, like, two. I'm writing two niggas that got 50 years, and I was there. Hmm. You know what I mean? It would be no Sue Surf. I was 17. It would be no Surf. You know what I mean? I like, you. realistically, it's like the end don't justify the means, my nigga. Like, all it takes is one time, one wrong, them bullets don't turn. One wrong bullet, one wrong, you feel me? The cops pull up. It's just all it takes is for it to be set up not in your favor. Absolutely. That's it. Set You're up right. not in your favor. The homie jump out the car to go in the gas station. There's two guns in the car. Those yours. Mm-hmm. He not walking back to the gas station. He not walking Somebody back to the car. Like, Hold on, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got two joints. You, you holding just look that. Up at, Absolutely. Holding that, my nigga. The end don't just, it just don't. Don't add up, especially when there's so many other ways now, especially with the way the world is now. They're giving us so many tools and so much, you know what I mean, other shit to like, like you could sit in the house and literally become a millionaire. Mm-hmm. A motherfucker that want to go outside is stupid at in this day and age. Mm-hmm. If it's not for business networking, you are crazy. Yeah, you are crazy because it's not set up how it was two thousand eight, two thousand seven. You know what I mean? Shit yeah. like that. It's not the same. Things like, change. Things course. change. You know what I mean, you got to change with the times. What you, you think about mean? the reform? Everybody, you know, on some reform. The bail know, reform. Yeah, re- yeah, bailing everybody out, getting people out of jail. Oh well, you know what uh, you think about? You New know? Jersey's going through the bail reform right now. Like that's uh, it started 2007, January 2017, if I'm not mistaken. Um, what they're trying to do is like um, to me in my eyes, is like equalize everybody, whether you got money or whether you don't got money. They're trying to make everybody equal. You know what I mean? Because you can't bail out anymore in New Jersey. Yeah, that shit. I was you gonna I mean? ask you like, what if the you f- catch a felony charge, anything that's a felony charge, it can't be like if it's a ticket or something like that, you could pay your ticket. But whether it's a domestic violence, whether it's anything, anything, anything that's a felony, with a felony, there's no bail. So basically, let's say you got locked up on Wednesday, the next day you would go to see a court, you would go to see video court. Right. They could possibly let you go or keep you. If they keep you, then you wait around till next Monday to go in front of a judge. That's you get two chances. You get video court. They say no, they send you back to the county, and then you get to go in front of a judge, and the judge has the final decision whether or not you get to go home or not. And what they do is there's a thing called a PSA, so they score you off a point system. The two, uh, the two options are it's, it's a one to six point system. So uh, the first point, the first one is uh, your criminal back, your criminal history, like the things you did prior. It can rank from one to six, and Damn, then it's your, that's and then it's your, crazy your though, current man. charges. So you'll be looking at a paper that says criminal history, scale one to six, and then current charges, scale one to six. So, you know, and it's all computerized. Nigga, look at your jacket, and you you might catch, you might have two zips of weed on you. You know yeah. what I mean? You get locked up in Jersey. You go in front of that judge, the judge look at your charges like, <laughs> your criminal history is six. You know what I mean? This current charge is light. It's a four. But I'm looking at your failure to appear. And your pre- they, this might be for some other shit. Yeah, you yeah, was some, running for some, some, some serious. from old shit. Some shit that was serious. You was running. You know what I mean? The judge like, oh, well, you just a flight risk type of person. Now we're going to keep you. You know what I mean? Type shit now. So it's like it's literally no cash bail. You know what I mean? And um, the only thing that works and supposedly supposed to work in, the, um, in, in our favor is that. Yeah, I was going to uh, ask that. What works on your favor? Is that now that they have, you know, somebody could sit in the county for five years, six years, like realistically fighting a case. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. listen, prior to this bail reform, if you was to catch a shooting charge or a violent charge or something and you want to fight the case, long. you could sit up. I, mean, we, I know niggas that was in the county for five years. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean, that's inhumane. That's like really like Rikers Island. You just yeah, set up for a couple you know what I mean? years. Like, that's like, and if you're not a worker, like, the county's damn near 23 and 1, if you ask me, if you're not a worker. You know what I mean? Type shit. Right. If you're not a trustee. So um, now what they did was you can't stay in jail alone. They have 10 months to figure out the case. So they have, they have us. Oh. They have 60 days to indict you. And then another, uh, you have 90 days to indict you, and then another six months to completely finish the case. So the shit could be either you going home or you going up north. Nine to ten months, you know what I mean, now. So that's why people, like a lot of people don't understand New Jersey law. So from the outside looking in, from the outside states looking in, it's like, oh, why that nigga keep going home? Or why that nigga go home? Or how he, or wait, he got locked up with two choppers. How he home? Because he got nothing to do with that. If you ain't never did nothing in your life and you get locked up with a chopper, you're coming home. You coming yeah. home? I see. I, I, I've seen a, a vehicular homicide. White guy hit two people. One girl was pregnant, and what her the brother, fuck? the baby was a baby in the stomach, went home. Wait. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, nah, niggas, 
going home, active shooting. They tough in Newark, man. I've been I've been in jail in what Newark. What I'm learning, man. About- I've been in jail. I've been in that I've been in that fucking jail shit too, man. In Newark, man. Or the motherfuckers is they crookers over there. It's the a cops cool place. Is, it's a cool place for the cops. The to cops the is to fucking the- yeah. The cops be setting they they crazy, dirty. man. I was like, what the fuck? It's they- dirty. <laughs> it's a dirty place, man. They took me. They stopped me on the uh, on the driving on the highway with some, and I was I left your house and they brought me back to your house. And yeah. They found two pounds in your house and charged me with it. Yeah. And they I'm bring like, you back. That's Jersey. Go in your, like, go in your pocket. Go, fucking no. be standing, I'm like, what? You be standing in the middle of the street. They gonna go in your pocket, grab your key, nah, and walk up and down the block. Crap. I fought that shit for three years, block, bro. Pressing the button, walking the block, pressing the yeah. button. And they gonna find, oh, that's the car right there. They gonna go in that car. Yeah. <laughs> they gonna go in that car. And I was scary fucked up about scary. If you don't man. have a lawyer, if you don't have the right type of representation, you shit Yo, out of luck. Thank God I had a lawyer. Yes. Yeah, you shit out of luck. You shit out like the the a North police officer can find a gun thirty feet from you. And charge you and, with and charge shit. you with it, and just say, "Oh yeah, I seen him put it over there." And realistically, and if you don't, your public defender is telling you, "Yo, take a three with a one." Like just take it as like, man, you ain't never had a gun charge before. You might as well just take. You might as well you like, yo, this gun thirty feet from me. But what you got to like, if you don't have a lawyer, yeah, a lawyer, like you done up and and, and you know what I mean. What I'm just learning about Jersey though too is, um, they care more about. I used to think it was guns, it's violence. They are so. Caught up with the violence. Violence is violence. Like New Jersey is super geeked up on whether it's domestic violence, whether it's street shit. Like, like guns get like I'm not saying guns go under the under the radar because they don't. But it's like you get more slaps on your ass. It's just come and go. Like if it's a gun, it's like all right, give them that time, go. go yeah. When it's violence, they keep me. They try to make a movie out of you. Eighty five percent of the time, you not you need your eighty five percent law. It's so many things you don't qualify for if you got violent charges. You know what I mean? Like you do, like you got to do eighty five percent of your time. Period. You don't get you can't get furloughs when you get to the half shit like that. Yeah, you, know you can't mean? get but a whole bunch of shit. Maybe so. Third, when it's violent, you know, the numbers start so high. You know what I mean? Like if you're a violent person, anything else you do is is maximized. You know what I mean? Type shit. If you if you violent, you catch you with weed. It's like uh-huh. oh yeah, but he has some shoes on his jacket. Or he he's, he fights a lot. He got a lot of aggravated assaults. You know what I mean? Jersey's not cool with that that violent shit, man. At yeah, all. They, yeah, they don't yeah. like that shit. I real. just think Jersey's tough. Period. 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 It's Even not when a, you get, st- when I get stopped, I'll be like, here I go, man. I'll be there for a really, whole hour. People don't really sit back and look at Jersey in the whole, like, it's, it's about three hoods in New Jersey. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you consider, like, realistically, if you're from Newark, all that shit is the same. Urbanton, Newark, yeah. East Orange. That's like mm-hmm. one thing. One, one whole, yeah, one spot. It's only about four or five hoods in New Jersey, period. Mm-hmm. Everything else is a no-fly zone anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, once I leave out of Newark, if I don't live in Newark and I want to live in the burbs, once I leave out of Newark, I'm bugging with anything I got in the car. Yeah. Everything that surrounds agree. the trenches, I'm bugging. From Hillside to Union to Kearney to Harrison, every single South Orange, all the surrounding blocks of what we call the hood. Like once you step out, whatever that, I wish I could have a map to like circle Urbanton, East Orange, Newark, like this circle. Yeah. Everything outside of that circle is the fucking, is the burbs, the hicks, the crackers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Type shit. Like, New Jersey's not Detroit. Yeah. Like, 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 it's not Chicago. Like, it's not, you know what I mean? Like, we got one or two cities that's crazy. And realistically, that's getting smaller and smaller. They really trying to crack down on that. You got the Prudential Center in Newark now. They trying to build more shit up. Like, they trying to crack down on all that shit. The hood is not the hood. In New Jersey, yeah. niggas that be riding on a parkway, pushing through, like you're not in Nook no more. You're on a parkway. You four exits down you with exit. two pipes in the car. Yeah, you know what I mean. You four exits down, nigga. Like and literally, three exits could be the difference of your jail time. You might catch a gun charge in Nook and end up with three three years. You go down three exits and it be seven. You know what I mean? Just because of all because of the city I agree. you in. You're right. You know what I mean? Type shit like nah, no, like New Jersey ain't the place to play. It's I, not the place I, to play. I agree. I love Jersey though. Love Jersey. I named my son Jersey. For real? Yeah. That's fire. I, my I might son, my, still at. Yeah, my name is my son's name is Jersey. I, I freaked up. I changed the S to Z. That's hard. That's a still. I love I Jersey. Still, Jersey still. was like from the Bronx my whole life. So every time I get a chance, yeah. I go over the bridge. Over we call we call Jersey the safe side. Yeah. Because it's like yeah. you know I hide in the good areas. Yeah, nah, it's no different. Nah, for, nah <laughs> it's I get the truth it. though, nah, right? A, you know that. Hell yeah, you nigga ain't nah, gonna live in the, the fucking you know, for the, city. The, like, and it's different for y'all if you're off on the city. You come over the bridge, like that should be. I shouldn't have no problems whether I'm in North Irvington. You know what I mean? Great. Everybody, hell yeah. I, would, shit, over, I shoot over. The, I shoot over the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's yeah. always safe over there to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit, crazy. 
So you know. Yeah, but um, how, how's your career? How's everything going, man? With you, besides the whole jail shit and all, how's everything uh, going with uh, you as far as you know, your career? I see that you had a live band. Oh, how was that last night? Ah, uh, it was super dope. You know what I mean? Um, I just I'm learning as I go. It's all a new experience. You know, a nigga never been here before. You know, you so did good. I appreciate that. You know what I mean? It's it's a dope. You know, it's just dope to see it and, and to see how niggas still get the butterflies and shit like that. Yeah. But to see how people respond, you know what I mean? And and, and actually see your work coming into like. Where like it's coming forefront, you know what I mean? It's just it's still crazy, you know what I mean? It's yeah. still a nigga still be weird. So you like the battle rap like king or something, man? I mean, um, I don't really know too much about you know they the, the battle rap. Uh, they told me that you 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 the beast, man. They just told me that you I'm know one of the better battle rappers in the that's world. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm yeah. like yo, he's I'm the truth, you know. I appreciate. It. I'm definitely one of the. It's some fire niggas out there. I'm, it's some fire niggas out there. I'm I'm, I'm probably. By definition, I'm yeah, I am one of the better one of. I like you know what I mean. That's why I like to change that. You know what I mean. I'm one of the better. I mean, you the only one lot. that I see that's a battle rapper that has taken it to a whole different level. Oh no, that's different. Yeah, that's the. I if mean, we talking just, about because yeah. I know a bunch of battle rappers from yeah. Harlem, from this this guy that you know a bunch of motherfuckers. Yeah, and no, shit. if we just talking and about they battle still rap, in the same. Some, I mean, I don't see nothing, I don't see no growth. No, that's a fact. Um, that is supposedly the story. But you know, the story behind me is though. You know, that's the battle. That's him. Like surf. Oh, that's the guy that makes me, you know what I mean? The project went number two in the country. You know what I mean? I just dropped a book. It was number one bestseller, Urban Arthur. You know what I mean? In, in What's the name of the book? Uh, House of Virginia. Where, uh, I did a, uh, a joint collaboration project with uh, Jessica Watkins, national bestseller, Arthur. You know what I mean? So that's good, um, man. Congratulations, I man. I appreciate that. That's you know what I mean? Up, so, man. Love that. Nah, um, that's the thing, I think, between some of the other battle rappers is that like battle rap is a big platform. Though, though it's, it's stigmatized, it is. You know what I mean? So, it's, but it's kind of like you know you got to cut your nose to spite your face sometimes, or sometimes you got to cut a finger off to save an arm. You know what I mean? That's just the way life works. You know what I mean? So you might step in that realm because that's what you need to go. And that's where you need to go. But you really you, you step back and you look at it. These are millions and millions of viewers. You I get battle rappers. Anything. I get battle rappers a lot of credit, man. They, oh, it's they, a skill. It's they, a talent. It's, it's a profession. It, yeah, because a lot of they they cut, they've been looked at, overlooked for a long time, and I just think that it's, it's, it's right about now, time. It's, you got you know that, 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 that I see a, a battle now. rapper you like know. yourself that came and you super nice and you you doing your thing. It's it like you know what it, I'm saying. I, um, that's why I don't knock You know what I mean the, the niggas that came before Because you feel like They went through You know the Luxes The murder mooks yeah. You know what I mean They went through What they went through For it to be like You know what I mean How about platform, that platform Open up the little platform <clears throat> Exactly You know what I mean So um, yeah like this Like battle rap Within these last years Is getting like the best love Again like I said Hitman and Khan Being on Wild and Out you know what I mean, and uh, and me getting the looks that I'm getting and shit. You know, so battle rap is a good enough platform because that's what it's about. It's about platform. This shit is about business. You Absolutely. know what I mean? Like a nigga, uh, you're not an actor. Like if you work in, the, if you play for the NBA, you're not an actor. Mm -hmm. But once you get the right platform, you get the right followers, the right look. What? Here comes Sprite commercial. Here comes sneakers endorsements. Here comes yada yada. You know what I mean? Of course. Nigga, you have to look at battle rap like that. You know, millions of viewers, millions of subscribers. You know, so a nigga bat. If you're not selling socks, t-shirts, hats. Something you tripping? Yeah, you tripping. You know what I mean? You tripping. This is a platform. That's what it's for. You know what I mean? So, so I nigga want to tap into books, tap into music. You know of what course. I mean? Tap into this other shit. I want to do a few other things because I have the platform too. You know what I mean? So you know, um, you got to take it there. You have to. You, you have, have to. to. Fuck that. And, you know what I mean? And, and niggas that's been from like I know what it's like to have nothing. Mm -hmm. Completely no. No, I know a whole <laughs> about nothing. Like it's it's scary bunch how much them, it's, it's just, a bunch of shit. That, like nothing yeah. comes with a lot. Like uh -huh. I, yeah. I know a lot about nothing. Crazy. You know what I mean? I know what it's like to have nothing. You know. So when you get that platform to really like elevate, like damn, I could sell books if I wanted to. You know, niggas selling books at sixty a copy because they got my signature. Books go for eight dollars. You know yeah. what I mean? Niggas selling sixty dollar copies of books. You know what I mean? Or it's a hundred dollars to get in the door to a private list. You know what I mean? Like this is really this is a, a narrative that battle rap set for me. You know what I mean? Right. So a nigga just trying to, you know what I mean, take it to the next level. And once you get to the point where it's like people coming up to you, you know, just as many people come up to me like, yo, I like this round, I like this battle. Mm -hmm. It's now it's like niggas don't know I battle rap. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's like a nigga come up and they just, yo, your last project was crazy. I can't wait for that tape with you and Mozzie. You know what I mean? Or uh, uh, when the Chris Brown record come out, whatever the case may be. Yeah, you know what I mean? it's, just, yeah. it's just music, you know what I mean? So you know that like once it start eat, Hitting equal, you know what I mean? It, it gets super fire, you know. So yeah, I think that you, I think, I think you're doing great, man. I appreciate and I, that. And I think I that you're gonna get, that. I think you're gonna get a little bigger too. Yeah, I think so too. I think it's I like, I, you know what I mean? I feel it. I it's, mean, I'm, I, I like you, man. I, I think that you're that. dope, man. I like I all that, that. battle rap and shit. I love it's, all that shit, man. It's a good, you know what I mean? It's, it's just, it's I just think it's just great, man. I love, it. I love the, the entertainment of it. You know what I'm saying? And that's a, it's, it's its own entity. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and the crazy part is, you know, if the right people get a hold of it and the right people get some dollars behind it, it could be, it could be even, it's wrestling. 
Yeah. It's wrestling. And some people don't look at it like that. Like, it's not battle rapping like it used to be, like us in a room, 10 niggas, spit your best shit, yeah, I spit yeah, my best yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not like that no more. It's not. It's a show. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some of this shit is like, this is at the PlayStation thing. But it's good, though. It's at TLA. Because it's about it time is. they make it. It is. You know what I mean? You know? But if they're not doing it, if they're not doing the right procedures or going about it the right way, you're kind of missing money. It's money going under the bridge. Mm. You know what I mean? So uh, what separates battle rap from wrestling? The only thing that separated is the exclusivity of wrestling. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like the, the, the oneness, like, like, Triple H wasn't selling his own shirts and The Rock selling his own shirts and Stone Cold selling his own shirts. No. Once you go to a wrestling event, you get the whole wrestling experience. Yeah, you get the whole, the whole package. You get the whole package. You can uh -huh. buy your shirt from here. That's a Hitman Holla shirt. That's a Sue Surf shirt. Yeah, or I yeah. could get a Murder Mook shirt or I could get a Battle Rap is not, have, has yet to become one entity in itself. Okay. You know what I mean? Like you could go to WWE.com and it gives you everything on wrestling. You know what I mean? I like Battle Rap is still just so... It's, it's still spread out. I come across Surf and not want to indulge back in the battle rap or well, I come across Hitman and not want to like it's still so spread out uh -huh. which you know what I mean I think it, it, it the reason that being is because it happened years ago at, at at some point this wasn't this it was just rapping in a room mm -hmm. so you know what I mean like I said we all learning as we go so a nigga like Smack or URL they don't see what this is going to become but realistically you think about it if I sign all the artists every motherfucker that come on this stage I sign them whether it be 90 90 10 Whatever income you make is 90-10 because I'm giving you the platform. Realistically, would Hitman Holla be on Wild and Out without Smack URL? No. Would Conceited be on, you know what I mean, the world? I mean, not taking nothing from him, but this is the reality. Yeah. Would I be where I am right now without Battle Rap? It was a warp to the top. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. If, you, if the company go and take 80-20, it's no different than a distribution deal. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't sell your merch. I'll handle it. Yeah, I yeah, sell yeah. anything. I'll, I'll handle your business. I'll handle your bookings. I handle your. Mm -hmm. This would be a million dollar entity, like mm -hmm. a multi million dollar. You figure I've been battle rapper since I was eighteen years old. If they were selling Sue Surf shirts since I was eighteen, and they was getting ten percent of my income since I was eighteen years old, they would have made. They would have made six digits off of me. Mm -hmm. Now you figure it's fifty battle rappers. Yeah. From from the best from the, from the Rock and Triple H all the way down to fucking X Pac, mm -hmm. a nigga that you know what I mean. Like realistically, like it's it's a bunch of battle rappers. You know what I mean? They they supposed to. Herd all the cattle in the one, you know what I mean, in the one place. Y'all letting the cattle run all over. Get them all, and y'all creating monsters. Now, as a company, how much would it cost them for them to call me and say, yo, we want to solely distribute you, your merch and such and such through, oh, shit, I need six digits. Why? Because I could, I make six digits off merch by myself. Merch by myself. Or Hitman Holla. Why would Hitman Holla come back down now to, yeah. the, to, you know what I mean? And granted, that's the trampoline that we jumped off of, but we also businessmen. It doesn't make logical sense I get now it. Why would I give somebody 10, 20% of anything? Whereas if they would have just scribbled niggas on paperwork from the jump, we'd be in Madison Square Garden right now. You know what I mean? Because that's all it's about is the money. I get you know it. what I mean? Like we, we, we missed out on the website, missed out. Like I said, I want to, as a battle rap fan, like as a wrestling fan, I want to like that's the experience. You come in there, you put your finger in the one. Uh -huh, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. You got the. You got the. That's what so wrestling. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's what so wrestling. Like Hell that's yeah. what so. I became attached to Triple H. I became attached to tri to the Rock. I became attached to. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And battle rap is just leaving a lot of blank spaces on these characters and stuff like that. Okay. When realistically, it could be more hands on. Like I, you know, it could be more. Yeah. Well, you broke it down, man. Appreciate you know you breaking it down like that. Let me ask you, uh, what you think about that whole six nine and shit telling on everybody and going crazy? It's a rap. It's a rap. Like you it's, expected? It's, 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 you, it's did 30. you know that was gonna happen? <clears throat> did you? What's your, what's your thoughts on it? I like mean, twenty three year old gang member that didn't start gang banging until he started rapping. I mean, it's like what you really what what do you expect? You know what I mean? Type shit. Um, like ratting is so like regular, so popular. It's so popular. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like, it's like, what do you expect from a nigga? Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, if you ain't the niggas that I roll with, I expect you to tell. Yeah. Like, at this point in my life, you know what I mean? If you're not the everybody's niggas Everybody's a I, suspect. Everybody's a suspect. No if you're bullshit, not the niggas man. that I, if you're not the niggas that I pulled up with, I, shit. I'm going to expect you to tell. Like, you could tell Hell me yeah. your body, all this extra shit. Fuck you probably gonna I don't tell. even, even want to know what, about yeah. what you did. Anyway. Yeah, you're probably going to tell. You know what I mean? A niggas all, we can't know, even we, have that conversation. Know, they gonna tell yeah. You know what I mean And it's like And niggas don't add up Like you know Once you get in these law In these courtrooms And stuff like this And you start understanding What some of these charges equal mm -hmm. Niggas swag change Niggas whole energy change Niggas whole like Is the gang the gang Is this worth it Is this I'm tatted from the neck To the ankles yeah. With what I believe in I'm gonna go out like that It's decisions I made I mean and, You know 
you make some decisions in life. You can make a decision that is fucked up, but it's the way you can make a decision at 11 years old that would affect you at 42 years old. Absolutely. It's just the way the world works. That's the way, you know that's I mean? the that's way it goes. The way, it's not going to go away. It's, it's history. Just, it, it just it's is part of it, your history. It's just, you know what I mean? Like, it, and, you know, whether it be gangbanging, whether it be anything. Uh, like anything. You can, you, can have, you can literally make a decision at 10 years old that would affect you till you 50, 60. You know what I mean? Shit like that, you know? So um, <clears throat> this life that niggas chose is, 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 is something that a decision that you made way before, you know what I mean? Like, you know, Big U, all, all the homies, all the yeah. big bros, they knew me prior to rap. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, they knew me from the, the, the dirty little young wild nigga from yeah. North, that's yeah. going up. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So it was like this was something that I I lived for before the lights, before the cameras. It's, it's in me. Before everything else came. That's you know what, what I mean? You so, are. you know, I, we going to ride this to the wheels fall off, you know? And, and, and um, you know, motherfuckers make a great statement. It's just like if you can't hold the, handle the water, just get out the car. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or if you don't want to be in a situation to have to hold, like, again, I can't afford another, uh, can't afford another charge. Absolutely. So what I tell, fuck no, I'm going to ride to the wheels fall off. So what could I do to avoid that? Just don't rock. Just yeah, don't rock. Change up. Just don't rock. That's it. The whole like you feel me. You you, you surround yourself with homies. That's like nah. You can't slide. Mm -hmm. I'm a slider. That's what I do. You get you around the right niggas. That say nah. You can't slide, bro. We got something else going on. You feel me? Like we got a mission. We on a goal. Like we got plans. You feel me? Anybody that's around me that don't see what's going on, don't see where I am or where I'm elevating to, shouldn't be around me. If I'm in a car with, if I'm in a car with niggas. The niggas that I'm in the car with, I'm, a, I'm at fault because I'm an adult, but the niggas that I'm in the car with is not my friends. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, why, yeah. why is the ticket in the car with us? Who I the fuck it. rides around with the ticket? I get it. That's get stupid. It. Like, that doesn't make sense. Like, if niggas going to ride for Drake, Drake is not in the car. Yeah. If niggas going to, going to ride for Meek, Meek is not in the car. And it makes so much more logical sense when you mm -hmm. say other motherfuckers' name. So mm -hmm. why don't it just translate over when you talking about... Whoever, yeah. you know what I mean? Whether it's, you know, think about, you You would be surprised how many street stories you heard of the basketball player that was in the car with yeah, yeah, the yeah. homies. Of or, course. you know what I mean? The, the could have been that was that just don't make logical sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? But <clears throat> um, that telling shit is like, it's, 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 it's popular. Like niggas it's is regular doing it, now. you feel me? Like, yeah, I mean, and, and, and then I also start, you, you blame these niggas that's banging too. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Because this shit about judgment of character also. You feel me? Anybody that's in the trenches or in the, you know, a nigga pull up talking about he want to be gang. Who are you? Where you from? How you get here? Why did? Why don't they accept you where you came from? Yeah. You're 23 years old. You just pulled up talking about you want to be gang. So who the fuck was your friends the, the, the 22 years prior to you walking up yeah. to us? Yeah. Why can't you go back where you're accepted at? True. Why, why didn't you walk up with 10 other? Everybody got friends. Where's yours? Why do you want to be with us? They should have known better then. You pull you know up on I mean? me with no friends and not like that. No, it's history. a judgment like, of character thing too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you can't, you don't always just. Yeah, you blame the rat, but motherfucker, if 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 you the person, if you the person Walking working the with, door, mm -hmm. and a gun get in the room, who the first person? When it comes to business, if a gun gets inside a establishment, the first thing they check is security. Of course. If a rat get inside a fucking gang, why not check the big homies, the niggas that's verifying these, accepting that they're verifying these passes. That's verified. That's stamping these passes saying he good. You want to know why? Because all the extra shit start getting involved. The money. You know what I mean? The greed. The yeah, shit like that. All that and get shit. involved into the extra shit to where Motherfuckers it's Motherfuckers like, overlook shit and all that. All right, cool. That nigga going to give us X amount of dollars. He gang now. Yeah, he down. Of course. It start getting so weird and so corny that it's like, like, and when you add up, like, man, that, that $80,000, $100,000, that million dollars you got, it don't add up to three life sentences. All True. because you want a nigga to be down to, to kind of detour around you having to get it. That's the easy way. Oh, shit, the little nigga got, he popping. Let's make him gang. They could have puppeted that little nigga without having him around. You know how I many of these little weird 17, 18-year-old colorful head mm -hmm, kids that's mm -hmm. popping that niggas just go, put the bag behind them, sit them in the house in that's Cali, it. and leave them little niggas alone? Mm -hmm. Sit him down, let him make music, and keep him out this shit. True. Somebody... Was making bad decision making. It was it's bad decision. Like, I right, cool. Like, in my mind, mentally, even if we play him, which when when you follow the situation, because I try not to follow that shit too much, because right. it's still niggas glorifying a snitch. Yeah. If you click a link and it got a million views on Takashi's statements, it's niggas feeding so, it to yeah. That's streaming. His name mm -hmm. is still still popping. You know what I mean? So I don't click on all these things Takashi said, yeah. such such said. But you know what I mean, but you know, just hearing the stories and shit like that, it don't add up. It don't add up. Who let him in? 
he ain't the biggest homie. It ain't like the big bro toe. It's a yeah. little nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little, a little homie, technically, but yeah. in gang terms. Little that kid, just, man. That, a child that just brought down the whole fortress. Oh, whole shit. All right, I need to talk to who upstairs. If this, if this my gang, yeah. these my guys, we need to talk to who upstairs. That's the problem at hand. The rat, not the problem at hand. You only get rats when you leave fucking junk around the house. True. Niggas ain't clean up. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not mad at them. Like, I'm mad at them because we don't tolerate snitching. But there's other niggas at fault. We, we we expected that shit, man, from that kid. That kid is a I've been saying that to soon. They got locked. They, I said they did what? He got like racketeering. Like some of these charges yeah. niggas never heard of. You know, nah, like niggas no. sit back and just be talking and like, oh, yeah. they got racketeering and, and don't be knowing what the don't fuck. Shit racketeering that, is different. Mm-hmm. Racketeering is different. That's Absolutely. That's a, a organized crime. So listen, right, so I want to, you know, because I think we ran out of time, I guess, uh, but uh, I want to thank you for coming, man. Oh, it's it was, always it was love. a pleasure. We could definitely vibe and shit like always that, Always love. Man. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate, you know, coming through and all that. Anytime. Keep doing your thing and all that. Thank you, Welcome to bro. the dog in the yard, yeah, man. Ready. If we could get, like, a little, a little rap would be nice. Nah. A little freestyle, son. <laughs> no, that'd be, sir. That would be, that'd be extra. That would no, be good. Sir. I wish. <laughs> you know, I know you dumb nice, so I like to, you know, I, I like all that. The, I appreciate the offer, though. I, I mean, you know, hey, I, ain't nothing wrong, I'm just gonna ask, you, man, you know. As you supposed well, to, you supposed to. ask me too, shit. Absolutely, Try shit. You nice, off. I like to hear you. Thank you. <laughs> but I appreciate you having, having you, man. I right. all love, man. First and foremost, I want to shout out my son, Jersey. He turns five today. It's my gift to you guys, man. I hope y'all really enjoyed my show today with Sue Surf, that walk in the yard. You know what I'm saying? His information was valid. You know what I'm saying? It gave me a different perspective on different things that happen and how shit happens when when you down with certain gangs and all that. So it gave me a good perspective and all that. And I appreciate him for coming through. Just know that these all these all these doors are open any given time. This platform is here for you at any given time. We appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, Dice, what you think, man? Man, yeah. Happy birthday to my nephew Jersey. You know what I'm saying? His big five. And um, yeah, man, look, listen, that, that, that interview was serious because that brother, you know, like, like really like open my eyes, open your eyes. Cause we never, you know, that's something new. We never bid it on that side, like, like Jersey side like that, you know what I'm saying? Newer. So, you know, he, he put it in perspective as to, you know, when you affiliated, you know, you have to pick a side and you have to pick it right, you know? So, you know, and then also, man, we have to like really give it, uh, a hand of applause to the brother, man, for his transformation, man, for his growth, man. The brother wrote a book. The brothers is on a pa- on a positive path, man. You know, so for all these little brothers out there, man, that sure. think that gangbanging is just, man, smoking and, and go to sleep and don't do nothing and be breaking windows and stuff like that now, nah, man. You know what I'm saying? You can gangbang, you can do whatever you want, but at some level of your life, man, you're going to have to grow. So, you know, stay out of jail. And grow, man, and, and find your path while you out here. Don't try to find that when you got that 25, man. You know? Word up. That's all I got to say to these brothers. Let me tell you something. You know? Stay out the j- juvenile system, period. Stay out of jail, yeah, period. That's the that's the bottom line with us, man. You know what I'm saying? That's right. With that being said, I want to also thank, man, take the time to thank all my peoples up there at, at Dawn CBD for coming through for me, you know what I'm saying, giving me helping me out, helping me out with my anxiety, you know what I'm saying. It was killing you, bro. You know what I'm saying. So with all these coronavirus and everything that's going on in the world, that was the best thing that I had, that, that they could have gave me, man. So I want pre- right. to I want to thank everybody up there at Dawn CBD for coming through for me and all that. I want to also take the time to thank Mosaic Media for uh making the show possible for me and all that, making this happen. I appreciate you guys up there. You already know, man, Jeff White. Until next time, you already know, Dog in the Yards, your boy Pistol. Get at us.